Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from areas related to circles chapter, which had appeared in CBSE board exam 2025. Now this question has three sub questions. The first and second sub questions are for one mark and the third sub question is for two marks and it has an or question as well. That is either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So let us start with the first question now. A farmer has a circular piece of land. He wishes to construct his house in the form of the largest possible square within the land as shown below. The radius of the circular piece of land is 35 meters. Based on the given information, answer the following questions. The first sub question is, find the length of the wire needed to fence the entire land. So let us try to understand this question by drawing a rough figure first. So here it is given that a farmer has a circular piece of land. So we have drawn a circle over here and he wishes to construct his house in the form of the largest possible square within this land. So ABCD represents the largest possible square on the given circular land. Now the radius of the circular piece of land is given as 35 meters. So here we have joined the points B and D and O represents the center of the circle. So OD becomes the radius of the circle and radius of the circle is given as 35 meters. Now in the first question, we have to find out the length of the wire needed by the farmer to fence the entire land. So if he is going to fence the entire piece of land, we are talking about the perimeter of the circle or the circumference of the circle. So we have to find out what is the circumference of the circle over here. So here we have written length of the wire needed to fence the entire circular piece of land is equal to the circumference of the circle and the formula for circumference of the circle is 2 pi r where r represents the radius. So here we have taken pi as 22 over 7. So we get 2 times 22 over 7 times the radius is given as 35 meters. Now 7 divides 35 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 5 times is 35. So 2 times 22 gives us 44 and 44 times 5 gives us 220 meters. So the length of the wire required by the farmer to fence the circular piece of land is 220 meters. Now let us move on to the second sub question. Find the length of each side of the square land on which the house will be constructed. So I have referred the figure over here for easy reference. Now ABCD was the square and the radius was given as 35 meters. Now here BD is the diameter of the circle and it represents the diagonal of the square ABCD. And in the question we have been asked to find out the length of each side of the square. And we know that the length of all the sides of the square will be equal. So if we find out one length, it is going to be equal to all the lengths. So here we have considered the length AB of the square as x meters. So the length AD also will be equal to x meters. And to find out the length, we are going to consider the right angled triangle ABD. So in the right angled triangle DAB or ABD, using the Pythagoras theorem, we have written the hypotenuse square that is BD square is equal to sum of the square of the rest two sides of this triangle, which is AD square plus AB square. Now here, BD is the diameter of the circle, so it becomes radius plus radius. So 35 plus 35 gives us the length of BD as 70. So BD square becomes 70 square is equal to AD square becomes X square plus AB square becomes X square. Now X square plus X square they are like terms. So they will add up together giving us 2X square is equal to 70 square. Now in the next step, we have taken 2 on the other side of equal to sign. So we get x square is equal to 70 square. Now this 2 is going to divide 70 square. Now let us take this square on the other side of equal to sign. So we get total square root of 70 square over 2. Now using the laws of radicals or sorts, this square root gets divided to the numerator and denominator separately. So we get x is equal to square root of 70 square over square root of now square root cancels the square, so they both disappear. So we get x is equal to 70 
over square root of 2. So you can keep the answer as 70 over square root of 2 meters or you can rationalize it further. So I'm going to rationalize it and show you the next step. So rationalizing the denominator we get 70 over square root of 2 times root 2 over root 2. So here the numerators will multiply it together. So 70 times root 2 over root 2 times root 2 using the laws of radicals or sorts we get 2. Now 2 divides 70 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 35 times is 70. So here we get the value of x as 35 root 2 meters. So either you can keep your answer this way or keep your answer this way. So they both are acceptable answers. My suggestion is to go for the rationalization and get the answer in this format. Now let us move on to the next sub question. The farmer wishes to grow grass on the shaded region around the house. Find the cost of growing the grass at the rate of 50 rupees per square meter. So the farmer decided to grow grass on these two regions and the cost per square meter to grow the grass over here is 50 rupees. So first of all we need to find out what is the total area of these two segments as we can see and then find out the total cost for growing the grass on these two areas. So we have drawn an equivalent figure over here where ABCD represents the house and these two segments, segment CD and segment AB are the two shaded regions whose areas we need to find out. And this was the length of each side of the square which we had got as 35 root 2 meters. Now since we are trying to find out the area of these two segments, there are two ways or two methods. The first and the fastest method is to find out the area of the circle and subtract the area of the square from it. That gives us the area of 4 segments to us and then we are going to divide this area of 4 segments by 2 to get the area of the 2 segments. Now the second method is taking a sector into consideration then finding the area of triangle, finding the area of the sector by using the formulas and then finding the area of the segment. I am going to use the first method that is area of circle minus area of square. So area of 4 segments is equal to the area of the total circle minus the area of the square. So area of circle is given by the formula pi r square minus area of square is side length times side length. So here in place of pi we have written 22 over 7 times the radius of the circle was given as 35. So 35 times 35 minus the side length of the square is 35 root 2 times 35 root 2. Now in the next step, I have factorized this. So we can see that 35 is a common factor in both of these terms. So there are two 35s, so I have taken it out. And inside the bracket remains 22 over 7 minus square root of 2 times square root of 2 gives us 2. Now let us take a common denominator over here. So 2 can be written as 2 over 1. And we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by 7. So this becomes 2 times 7 and this becomes 1 times 7. This gives us 35 times 35 times 22 minus 2 times 7 is 14. Now we get a common denominator that is 7. Now 22 minus 14 gives us 8. So this simplifies as 35 times 35 times 8 over 7. Now 7 divides 35. That is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 5 times is 35. And multiplying all these numbers together, we get the area of 4 segments as 1400 square meters. And since out of the total 4 segments, only the 2 segments are shaded, we have to just divide that 1400 by 2. So 1400 divided by 2 gives us the area of the 2 shaded segments as 700 square meters. Now once we have got the area of the shaded segments, let us find out the total cost to grow the grass. So for 1 meter square, the cost was given as 50 rupees. Now we have got an area of 700 meter square. So how much is the cost going to be? So cross multiplying we get cost of growing grass on two shaded segments equal to 50 times 700 and this gives us 35,000 rupees. So the farmer has to pay 35,000 rupees to grow the grass on these two shaded regions. 
Now let us move on to the OR question. Find the ratio of area of land on which house is built to remaining area of circular piece of land. Now here the area of land on which the house is built is the area of the square and the remaining area of circular piece of land is going to be these four segments. So here we have to make a ratio between these two. So the ratio I have written here as fraction that is area of the land is the area of the square over the remaining area of circular piece of land is going to be the area of four segments that is area of circle minus the area of square gives us the area of these four segments. This is equal to now area of square is written as side length times side length over area of circle is pi r square minus area of square is side times side. Now we have the length of side of the square as 35 root 2. So here we have written 35 root 2 times 35 root 2 over pi r square becomes 22 over 7 times the radius of the circle was given to us as 35. So 35 times 35 minus side times side again becomes 35 root 2 times 35 root 2. So simplifying this we get in the numerator 35 times 35 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 gives us 2. Now the simplification of this we have already done in the previous part of this question and this had given us 1400. Now let us multiply 35 and 2. So here we get 35 times, now 35 times 2 gives us 70 over 1400. Now 70 divides 1400, that is 71 times is 70 and 70 20 times is 1400. So this simplifies as 35 over 20. Now these two go in the table of 5, that is 5 7 times is 35 and 5 4 times is 20. So we get the ratio of the land to the remaining area as 7 over 4 or 7 is to 4. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.